was shocked and horrified to see the eight-story block in East Road just being given planning permission after reading the newspaper that uh, I thought it wasn't going to get them, be given planning permission. I'm very concerned about what's going on with planning, and uh, maybe I'd like some comments from councillors. Is the planning system in meltdown in the city? Is the if you ask, is the planning system in meltdown? I think the planning system is in a state of nervousness about the consequences of making decisions which, if they go to appeal, could be proved to be extremely costly. Because we are all very, very conscious of the financial difficulties the council is in, and we don't want recklessly just to appease elements of angry public opinion. Thanks, Jerry. Well, being fairly new as a councillor, I have not that much experience of planning, but I've been extremely disappointed by the evidence that planning officers have brought to the planning committee and the willingness they've shown to challenge um, applications which just seem quite bad. Um, in, um, well, Martin's here now, I'm sure he'll mention the Eastern Gate SPD for uh, seven place, but several of the reasons seem to be strong on their own and taken together they seem uh, they seem to make the, um, the application extremely weak in my, in my view. So the, uh, the council will be hiring a new head of planning at the start of March, so they'll be interviewing for a head of planning. And I'm hopeful that they'll choose someone who has a bit of fight in them because the cost of Wilkins Terrace is extremely high, but the cost of the cannabis is even higher. I was at planning uh, last week, not for the, this item, but for another item, and I was there when an item in relation to Queen Edith came up, and I have to say, there were members in the public seating who were very concerned in relation to the confidence that they have in the City Council to execute its obligations in relation to determining planning, because it just appeared to be very confused complete confusion, and then people stepped out and stepped back in, and all of a sudden there is a determination in terms of that application which was different from what had been debated. And I think one of the obligations we have as councillors is to make sure that the public do have confidence in us when we take those process, go through those processes in determining planning, and it has to be done in a very transparent way, very transparent. So, but it is a very important issue because a lot of applications coming forward. Okay, so I know you're from the cycling campaign as well, so. Well, yes, the, the cycling came actually uh, came up with a 14-page document, giving a very robust, in my view, um, view of how this could be rejected uh, for exactly the grounds that, that Colin Rosenstahl has just said. Um, but both officers and councillors ignored the point which was made in that letter that although there is a, an Eastern Gate um, planning document that, that which says you know that the developments in the area should be basically providing money to fix these things, this was yet another development that didn't do that. Um, the, the, the development's in its own right. It doesn't have good transport connections. And, and you know, uh, in the same way that, for example, when Orchard Park was being built, that the developers proposed changes to King Cedra's Road, which are outside the scope of the development, but, but on the public highway, this development should have done exactly the same. It should have said, we need to change this so that we can get in and out. That was a point that um, no councillor, um, including John Hickin, raised. And, and basically that, in our view, would have, would have been perfectly robust. And um, again, poor, poor, doc, uh, poor advice. The okay. related problem I think, I think here is that the, 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 the city council hasn't got on with actually getting a proper plan for these and gates in place. They've had this document for four years. There are oodles, loads and loads of developments all happening around that area, and they're all getting away with not putting any money into, into sorting out New Market Road and, and that area because there isn't a document that says how we're going to spend the money. So I think one thing that desperately needs to happen is to actually get that in place so that all of these developments can actually start paying their way.